In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the Wokata conveyor belt set and then putting together a little demonstration for it. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. In this tutorial, we will set up the Wokata conveyor belt. We will first fix the baffle on the bracket and then fix the bracket on the conveyor belt with the hand knob in the accessory kit. And we can always adjust the gap in between. Secondly, we will start the hardware connection. We will connect the extender box and conveyor belt stepper motor with the cable provided. Then, we will connect the arm and extender box with the IDC cable. Before actual usage, we need to check some parameters. Once the robotic arm is connected, we send dollar dollar in the command. We want to check parameters 133 and 143. They should both have the value 1000. If they are not the same, send 133 equals 1000 and 143 equals 1000 in the command. An OK will be returned indicating success. We can confirm by sending dollar dollar again. There are three ways to control the conveyor belt. Teaching, Blockly, and Python. Let's see them individually. For teaching, we can change the conveyor belt position under Accessory and Accessory Values. This way, we can store the position of the robotic arm and the conveyor belt at the same time. For Blockly, we can use the block Conveyor Move with D for Distance and F for Speed and Relative or Absolute for Movement Mode. On the right side, we can find the corresponding Python code. Lastly, for Python, we can find the same function under Action called Conveyor Move with Movement Mode, Distance, and Speed as the parameters. Now, let's run a demo made in teaching. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other ones on our channel.